All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make complex, colorful gradients with halftone lines here in Photoshop. I just learned this from Poster Grind, and I never thought you can go this crazy with the gradient maps. So let's take a look. I'm going to go with this artboard size. From here, let's go to the contextual taskbar, click on Remove Background. If you don't have this taskbar, you can go to Windows and select Contextual Taskbar. After this, I'm going to go and create a separate background, select Solid Color, and I'm going to make it gray, click OK and drag the solid layer under the model layer. Make sure to select the layer with the model. All right, so let's go and create the halftone lines. I'm gonna go and select the rectangle and create a long line like this. Also make sure that you're on the fill, click on the fill, select the color, and click on the stroke, select none. After creating the line, I'm gonna press Control Alt plus T. This is going to activate this action. You also can see the menu had changed. And I'm going to go to this line and drag it down. Also press and hold shift to isolate. I'm going to release it somewhere here. Make sure to press enter. And after this, press and hold control shift plus alt and then press T. And press T a lot of times until you're going to get a lot of copies. So shift control plus alt plus T. Now I'm going to go to the fill, decrease it. I'm going to go with uh, somewhere around 30 and change up the blend mode to hard light. Right now I'm going to deactivate the lines. And I'm gonna go to the adjustments, select black and white. Let's go back to the adjustments. I'm gonna select the curves. Let's modify the contrast a little bit. And now we're gonna go back to the adjustments and let's select the selective color. And here we're gonna work with the white, neutral, and black. So I'm gonna select the white first and let's go to the black handle and I'm gonna pull it to the left, increase the contrast. Now let's go to the neutrals and I'm gonna repeat the same process with the black handle. And not but least, I'm gonna go to the black. I'm gonna bring the black down a little bit. Now I can go back to the lines and activate them. Make sure that you're on the top layer and we're gonna go to the adjustments, select gradient map, click on the gradient. And we got this option going on here with the type which is on solid. And we're gonna change it up to noise. And take a look at that. It is going to come up with some crazy gradient combos which are basically randomized by Photoshop. Here you also got the RGB handles. You can pull them and customize them that way as well. But I'm going to leave them as a default. And the fun part is you can generate these gradients randomly. All you need to do is go here to the randomize button, click on it, and it's going to switch up the colors and the gradient automatically. By the way, there are going to be like a lot of examples like this which are inverted. So because of that, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click on inverse and it's going to switch up the colors to show the right contrast. I'm going to click on randomize a couple of times to find the best results. I'm going to select the top layer. Let's go to the adjustments again. You also can go to hue saturation and switch up the hue. And this way you can find some new color combos as well. I'm also going to go back to the adjustments, select another curves and increase the contrast and get some interesting results. And pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.